Now what I'm going to create for you today is a wrap. Yes. What I'm going to show you now is what they call a wrap. Now you probably see these in a lot of the fast food restaurants and probably got a lot of calories in them as well. But this one here, you can have literally loads and loads of vegetables in there with either a meat or cheese or whatever and with different flavorings and the taste is absolutely fantastic and it's very much like eating a fast food uh, product at the end of the day but it's very very good for you very nutritious so let's get on and show you what we've actually got well first of all we've got the wraps now we just used a genuine uh, a tortilla wrap basically it's got the, a low gly glycemic index so if you're diabetic for example you know you can use something like this it's got um, also some herbs in it as well. Our base ingredient is going to be ham. We've also got cheese in it as well. We're gonna be using spinach, although I do use the salad leaves as well when I've made these before, when we've had the salad out of the garden. Here's that lovely, oh, I'm doing the keys there. Here's that lovely head of um, celery, which we've got, literally just dug that out of the garden now. We've got our beetroot, which we're gonna be putting in there. We've got a little mini cucumber. We've got a red pepper and some tomatoes. And for dressing, we've got some mayonnaise. And I tend to like these uh, fiery red uh, jalapeno sauces and also the green jalapeno sauces and obviously our, um, our tortilla wraps there. So, okay, let's start putting this thing together. First of all, obviously, you want to prepare your, your veg. Now, it's good if you do this beforehand and that you've got it all sort of... You can have it in little, little separate containers in your fridge. And if you're eating these on a daily basis, which is what we do, you just literally haven't got to worry about all the preparation time of cutting up. So I'm only going to be making one wrap here. So I'm just going to be obviously preparing uh, minimal vegetables, but I'm going to do it in real time just to let you see how quickly that you can actually produce this so-called fast food, but it's healthy fast food. And it doesn't have to take long at all. As I say, all the ingredients are uh, fresh and raw. There's no manufactured or processed foods here at all. Maybe apart from the sliced ham and also maybe the cheese there, but again, depending where you get them from, will depend on obviously um, if there's any preservatives or stuff like that, whatever in the food. I'm using these little cherry tomatoes here at the moment because that's all we've got in the fridge. Obviously we've got uh, truckloads of tomato plants out in the garden, but they're not actually ripe at this moment in time. So again, make do with what you've got. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just position myself with a, just a bit of kitchen roll on the worktop and I just a square of tin foil. Now this square of tin foil here acts, wrap, acts as a wrap container because obviously if it's, a, it's a tortilla wrap that you roll up and if you just hold it like that things can fall out the bottom. And there's different ways of folding tortilla wraps. I don't bother with none of that, I just use the silver foil, foil method. Fold the bottom over and literally that's all we've got there is our little square of silver foil. And I'll just lay that on the worktop like that. I then get our tortilla wrap, which is obviously circular, plonk that in the middle, and my base ingredient is going to be squeezy mayonnaise, and I'll just zigzag that along the whole long length of the actual um, tortilla. I then get my spinach, or again, salad leaves, depending on what you've got. At this moment in time, we haven't got any salad leaves, although we have been using them. Then so you just lay them straight down the middle. Again, nothing complicated, anyone can do this. And I've had people watch me make these and say, oh, I don't like, oh, I couldn't eat all that spinach. It's uh, something I don't actually eat, but you won't actually taste it. And just load it in there, not a problem at all. The next thing I'll put in is the base meat, or if you don't have to have meat, obviously, if you are, if you are a vegetarian, I use two slices of ham, and I'll just plonk them the full length down the middle again of our tortilla wrap. My next ingredient, will be just some cheese that I've cut up. I've cut up the four lengths of cheese and that works out near enough the whole length of the uh, tortilla. Now at this stage I might put a bit of seasoning on. So I might like a bit of pepper on there, like that. I don't put salt on, really no need to. And I may choose one of my dressings to go on. And I'll just literally sprinkle that just over. You don't have to load it up. And that's that. And then I'll just continue to build. Now my next ingredient which I'm going to choose is going to be my beetroot. Again, I'll just lay a, a row of beetroot down the middle of the wrap. 
Again, you can put as much or as little in these as you want. Fun thing to bear in mind, obviously, when you are building these up, you'll get used to a procedure, because I do tend to overload mine, and I do struggle to roll them up at the end. So I'll also take one of my, I'll take the smaller length of celery there, just cut that end off like that, and you can cut it in twos or threes or whatever, and I'll just lay that again down the sides of the wrap. Just keep, try, again, trying to keep everything in the centre. And for the bottom half, I might put some... Uh, some bell pepper. I'll put the cucumber down the middle in strips and I'm sure anyone can build this I mean as I say they're very very simple and I'll also just put a couple of tomatoes uh, down the sides as well. Now bearing in mind these are only small tomatoes if you're doing it the central route you lot you can just have a row of uh, stuff down the middle which is again is adequate as well so I may put a, just a drop more just a little drizzle just to keep the uh, moisture up in the wrap and basically I'm ready to roll so to speak now when you roll these up the way I tend to do it some people fold the ends over and then they fold the sides in I don't personally do that because I find that you're left with a lot of uh, wrap at the bottom of the tortilla and I don't really like that I prefer to do it the way I've just showed you and then I roll it up and then I fold the end of that double sided a uh, double thickness of uh, silver foil up and that holds everything in so what we're basically doing is creating a container within the actual wrap itself so again I'll just lift both sides up and it might struggle don't force it just overlap it and then sort of pick it up and drop it down and ease it together at the same time that you're doing that and you'll find that it will come together and if any little bits pop out just again just, just drop them back in again while, while you're still holding it now again I'm moving it up now, and that bit of double-sided bit, I'm just going to bring that up over the end, and then just literally chuck the rest of the silver foil around, and hey presto, I'm then going to just continue to just twist it around, tightly wrap it, and there you go, you've got the perfect container, which is a handheld container, no fear of anything dropping out of your, of your wrap, and that is one tasty snack, and all you basically do then, is just bring the sides down as you eat it, as I'm doing here. This way you don't spill anything out, and let's have a little go, shall we? Oh. Absolutely fantastic. Well, if you don't like vegetables, if you don't think that you're going to like this, I urge you to try it because you will be totally surprised and you will be hooked. It's a cheap meal, a very nutritious meal. You haven't had to spend a lot of money at all, even if you're buying the stuff from the groceries, where you, if you can't grow your own at the moment. You'll have a fridge full of raw vegetables and this snack will satisfy your hunger for any fast food takeaway, believe me. Give it a go, see what you think anyway. That's our tortilla wraps, that's how we do them, using fresh vegetables, and they're very, very healthy for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do like it, rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, you can change the ingredients about whatever you want. You haven't got to do uh, the ones I've used, but just get yourself the base, tortilla wraps, and the rest is freestyling. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Do forget to uh, rate and comment and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks very much, and goodbye.